Good evening, boys and girls. Yes, it's me, Miss Felicia. I'm back again. And the book that I've chosen today is an absolutely wonderful book. It's called The Chicken Chasing Queen of Lamar County. Janice N. Harrington and pictures by Shelley Jackson. Now, what could this story be about? The Chicken Chasing Queen of Lamar County. I'm so pleased to be back with you again. And boys and girls, may I ask, how can we find out what this book is going to be about? That's right, you're so smart. We have to open the book, don't we? Well, let's see what the Chicken Chasing Queen of Lamar County is all about. The Chicken Chasing Queen of Lamar County. Big Mama says, don't you chase those chickens. You make those girls crazy. They won't lay eggs. You like eggs, don't you? But I don't care. Soon as I wake up and wash away the dreaming from my eyes and brush my teeth whiter than a biscuit, I always do three things. Eat breakfast, tell stories to Big Mama, and when Big Mama isn't looking, Chase chickens. That's right. I go sneaking up on those chickens real slow, real easy, and then freeze. I make myself as still as sunlight, and those chickens hold still, too. One leg raised in the air, just waiting to step off. Prook, prook. That must be chicken for what is she up to? And then, squawk! I just love chasing chickens. I do, I do. Big Mama says, baby, behave yourself. Leave those chickens alone. But I can't help it. I try hard to be good, but I'm the chicken chasing queen of Lamar County. just any chicken. I want my favorite. Her feathers are shiny as the rain on roof. She has high yellow stockings and long fingered feet. And when she talks, pruk, 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 it sounds just like pennies falling on my dinner plate. I call her Miss Hen and she's plump as a Sunday purse just waiting for me to pick her up. I never do though. I never even get close. Miss Hen is as fast as a mosquito buzzing and as quick as a flea bite. Miss Hen and I have an understanding. I do my best to catch her, and she does her best not to get caught. But just you wait and see. I'm one smart chicken chaser. Look at Miss Hen. It's a pretty hen. This morning I ate breakfast. I told Big Mama stories and now I'm going after Miss Hen. Big Mama calls, girl, are you chasing those chickens? You know what I told you about that. No, ma'am, I'm not chasing chickens. Nope, this morning, I'm thinking, what will I need to catch Miss Hen? Should I take a rope? Nope. Miss Hen's too fast. Should I try some cornbread? Hmm. Big Mama says you catch more flies with honey than vinegar. And I know just what kind of honey Miss Hen likes. And I know just what kind of... Well, Big Mama was looking. But when she wasn't looking, I skipped all around the yard, shimmy shaking cornbread from my pocket crumbs. Crumbs falling like yellow necklaces. Then I sneaky hide behind Big Mama's wheelbarrow and make myself small, small, small. You think Miss Hen's gonna fall for cornbread crumbs? I love cornbread. You think Miss Hen does? I don't have to wait long. One by one, Mr. Rooster and the chicken ladies come stepping by. Peckity scratch peck, 
Peckety scratch, peck. Beaks down and bottoms up. Chickens clucking, squabbles squawking. But where's Miss Hen? Then I see her. Hmm. You think Miss Hen knows what she's up to? That's one smart hen. Pop, swark, squawk, squawk. Chickens go feather flapping in every direction. Miss Hen is gone before I even got a good look at her. Good gracious. Hmm. Big Mama says you can do anything you put your mind to. If you want it bad enough, well, I won't miss Hen. I stand watching those chickens, but I pretend I'm not. The chickens watch me, and I watch them. Hmm. I think all kinds of chicken thoughts, so they won't know what I'm up to. Corn, I think. Bright, shiny, Knuckles of yellow corn. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Goldy brown eggs all warm. Warm, warm. Cornbread, cornbread. Crumb and crumbled bread. Worms, slurm, swishy, mishy, ickety, tickety worms. I stand so still even my shadow gets bored and starts to walk away from me. Just when I'm about to grow feathers, along steps Miss Hen. I peek at her out of the corner of my eye. Keep still, keep still. They're both thinking. Look at them, they're both thinking. Hmm. And then. Squawk! I frog jump right after Miss Hen. Brown legs kicking, arms flapping, and pigtail sailing. Miss Hen goes flying, beak clacking, yellow legs scooting quick, 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 and gone. That chicken got away again. I go and sit by the back step and take a drink from the Silver Dipper. Chasing chickens is hard work. Seems like these days Miss Hen makes herself as hard to find as she is to catch. Where does she hide? Hmm. Under the porch in the cool shade? No. Over by the fish pond, peck pecking for bugs? No. By the whale house, scratching for worms? No. Where is that hen? Hmm. I tell you, chicken chasers thinking. And then I hear it. Over by Big Mama's summer cook stove in the tall, tall grass, I hear something soft and low. Peep, peep, peep. I high step, high step, and stand still. I see soft yellow shapes. Molasses easy, I crouch down low. Molasses slow. I pull the grass aside. Oh my, what do you think? What do you think she's going to see? And there, on a nest of brown eggs, with three baby chicks already hatched, sits Miss Hen. So this is where she's been. Miss Hen looks at me steady and hard. Her eyes knife bright, her beak raised like a sharp question. She hunkers down, but she doesn't move. Miss Hen is so close that my fingers tickle. I know for sure that I could snatch her up. My toes start to itch, getting ready to leap. I know I could do it. I could snatch her up and run like the wind blowing. I could, I know I could. Will she do it? But I don't. I look again at those fuzzy chicks cuddling tight beneath her wing. Wow. Peep, peep, peep. 
They sing. Don't you worry, Miss Hen. I say, I know you're a mama now. You're doing what you need to do. I don't trouble your babies. Miss Hen settles back into her nest. Prop, prop, prop. That must be chicken for. Hmm. That girl's not as bad as I thought. Look at the little chicks. Now, every day, Miss Hen goes strutting by like a 4th of July parade with 12 chicks right behind her. Pip, prop, pip, pip, prop, pip, prop, Big Mama says, you never know I used to be a chicken chaser. It's true. I'm so good. I can't believe it's me. Every morning, I throw crushed corn out for Miss Hen and her babies. I catch grasshoppers and dig worms to give to her chicks. I even keep an eye out for her chicken-sneaking weasels and egg-sucking snakes. I bet that old rooster thinks it's too good to be true. Big Mama says good things come to those who wait. So I'm waiting for Miss Hen's chicks to grow up. And then I'm going to teach them to run so fast that no one will ever catch them. Not even a chicken chaser like me. Boys and girls, did you like that story? The Chicken Chasing Queen of Lamar County. I love that story. Is there a lesson we can get out of this story? Hmm, you may be good, really, really good at something. But there comes a time and a place where it may not be the right thing to do. She was the chicken chasing queen of Lamar County. But she also had respect for the mom and her baby chicks. So there's a time and a place for everything. There's also a season for everything. I hope you learned a wonderful lesson tonight, babe. And I hope you enjoyed the story. I'll see you later with Just For You Storytelling. Good night.